sugar. Yeah. But uh, I forget what I gave you this spring, but I think it had the calcium in it too. Right. You have got to have some calcium in that dirt. To I've get given that it everything to make it happy that you told me okay. to. And then when you planted them, the little seeds, did you treat them with something? I treated them with the stuff that you energizer. gave me. The energizer. Seed energizer. Seed energizer from Surecrop. Yep. Good. Yep. Good. I did that for those. And I don't know. They seem to like it. Everything seems to like it, so I'm not. I'm not complaining. Okay. Well, then what I want, what I thought you should do, and I got ahead. I don't know that I'm advising you right. Is I had five different foliars for you. Right. You got now five you, foliars, and this well, is from Sure Crops, right? Yeah. But I don't know that you even need five of them anymore because of the stage you're at. Oh, I need five foliars. Well, no. <laughs> when the plant was little. Yeah. What do you got here first? Okay, first when the, foliar, when yeah. the plant was little, right. coming up, uh, I wanted you to put this one on because okay. it gives it calcium and carb okay. to energize them and help, you know, okay, the first foliar. Yeah, this one's got calcium in it. Right. And that'll make the plant bigger. As well. Okay, well, we still want some of that. Oh, no, you because have? you got the flower on there now, so hang tight. So, okay, this so one maybe there. you don't okay. want, but I brought it down and you pray over it and figure it if you need it. Okay. Now, where's number well, two? I just got done saying a prayer. I think I'm going to probably use it. All right, uh -huh. number two was to cause the plant to make lots of flowers, lots of bloom. What? We're going to really go see this okay. energizes right. it that we can then, do it. Right. This one sets lots of flowers up. Keep like going, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if you were growing like corn or soybeans, the yeah. same thing. It's going to make lots of seed because okay. the plant makes those decisions, and this one promotes all of that. Well, now we've got the flower we want, so we probably temperature is below 82 degrees. Well, and humidity is above 840. Well, yeah. I got no problems with the humidity. When you foliar, I like yeah. to have you in those parameters. Okay. You know. Okay. But uh, I always do mine at night, so yeah. that it okay. generally falls with because of that same reason. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like on a field, a farmer, if the temperature is 90 degrees and the wind's right. blowing, is not a good time to be foliaring. The plant okay. is shutting down. And then if the plant is like say in the 50s or 40s, right. they're kind of shut down. I try too. to keep it above that. Yep. Yeah, they're okay. not going. Okay, All so right. number three, so number you're three. probably into the number three group. Right, yep. Well, let's see. Let's see if you are or not. You're kind of those tiny little flowers. Okay. This one has got nitrogen in it, among other things. Okay. But it's a slow release nitrogen. And okay. now that I got my flower on, I've got my little pumpkin starting to grow. Now I want to give it small doses of nitrogen okay. and some biostimulants in there to, right. to give it when its needs are now going to get really hungry. We're going to get, okay. Because it's going to try to produce that that pumpkin. So we're really close to that stage then. Yeah. As soon as that sun comes up, yeah. I mean, we're going to be growing massive but, vines but here real quick. But little bits at a time, Just not oh, a yeah. huge gallop no, at I time. want little all the time. Okay, that's number the three. third one. Okay. Now the fourth one. All right, number four. Here we go. What's okay. this guy? This one is potassium okay. and some other micronutrients yep. in it with it. Awesome. But see, pumpkins are bulk. You want it bulk. You don't, you know. You I, don't mine were bulk last year and everybody was really surprised with that. Well, so I want to keep that bulk up, yeah. Most guys think it's all about nitrogen. But right. But potassium has more to do with it almost okay. than nitrogen. Okay. And so I want to drink a potassium in there okay. a couple of different times to keep that going. All right. And then the fifth foliar. All right. We're going back to the last one. All right. Yeah. What is this it one? It comes back uh -huh. with some calcium in it. It provides okay. calcium for plant coolness, okay. cellular strength, to optimize oh, photosynthesis and plant health okay. and vitality. Yes. Okay. The, you know, you talk about your soil, you think calcium is, you want calcium so badly uh -huh. because calcium will make, you know, the plant is all them little bitty cells. Calcium makes that cellular structure uh, not limpy, but right. strong little cells so that they can do their process where they make the, the photosynthesis and make the sugar. Okay. They can do that so much more efficiently if they're a strong little cell than if they're wimpy little ones. Okay. okay, and when is the best time to use this? What stage of the plant? Like any time? Well, since you didn't get to do it early. Right. Um, but I did have some of your stuff. I probably did this already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I would get a drink of these two on uh -huh. first, that nitrogen and potassium, okay. and then I'd come in with that. All right. And then I want I like you it. to use your common sense and just kind of go, I think I need to put a drink of that on. Okay. Or a drink. Right. Just watch the plant, in other words, and see what it needs. Notice that it's uh -huh. red down there. I see that. 
calcium do not blend with, with phosphorus. So when you do this okay. one, make sure your equipment has got water through it first, okay. then do this, and after you're done, water again, because that calcium will uh, coagulate with any okay. phosphate. Don't do it. Okay, don't mix. Make okay. sure we got it good and All clean. Right. So right. now you're in business, all I'm right? In business. Now, uh -huh. everything a little bit at a time, not a whole lot. Right. right. Don't get the idea that, oh, I got to <laughs> goose it more. No. Just kind of. Just keep going. Let that pour. Let, let it go smooth and not, not all at one time jamming it, right? Okay. Now, do you have to get something accomplished by a deadline or something? October 11th. That's a long enough season, isn't yeah, it? It's a long season, yeah. Okay. That's now, why we do it real slow. Uh, the pumpkin, it'll mature and be dry, or it'll be ready. It'll do, or do you Mine were growing last year when I picked them. Is I that what you September. want? September. Oh, yeah. I want them to keep growing okay. slowly because it's like you said, nice and slow. I want that. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So the I want those pumpkins to still be growing. I mean, why that's why I want them earlier this year because they were still growing. Why can't you yeah. pick the time when it gets weighed off rather than you got to go and meet a I certain... wish it was, but then it's all dependent on the weigh off. So at the end of the year, whichever weigh off I want to go to, depending on kids to school and stuff like that, ball games. So sometimes I can do it in September, sometimes I can do it and in no October. No way off in Kansas? No way off in Kansas. Yeah. Well, you're so special. I would think they'd come here and do it, particularly <laughs> for you, okay? That's the next when thing. You we'll get to that point when the kids are gone. Okay. We'll have way offs here, but until then, we're going to wait on that. So. You can't take like the county agent and they come and verify it. It has to be an, a, a, a GPC way off, Giant Pumpkin Commonwealth oh, way off, okay. in order to be an official wait. We can take it to like a state fair, but they're not part of the GPC. It doesn't count as an official weight. So if I was to weigh a 2,000 pound, the first 2,000 pound pumpkin in Kansas, and I weighed it down at the state fair, it wouldn't actually count oh, as a record. Wait, yeah. now, so you have to go to an official GPC weigh off is what it's called. Okay, now you, so you having to travel miles yeah, with this right. thing after you get it. Right. You've got to keep it from deteriorating too at that point. Yeah, and I they told me I probably lost my one that weighed 1,990 pounds probably lost over 100 pounds possibly because of the water weight that was released when I traveled without anything on it. So what I'm supposed to do is put a blanket over it, make it sure that that blanket is wet at all times. Cool, yeah. Yep, cool. And then I'm supposed to stop and do that and cover it up with a tarp as I travel oh, with gosh. it. Gosh, they still should come to you and weigh the That's, pumpkin. That's there you go. Come to me. Heck yes. yes. <laughs> Now you talked yep. about you wanted to give some little samples away to people. Yep. That's Bloom. It's a very good all-purpose, throw against the wall, always works That's sort right. of material. And you would tend to blend that maybe like uh, 1 to 20, you know, okay. like an ounce with 20 ounces of water. And then mist the plants, mist okay. the foliage, or put it through an irrigation water. Because we have it right now, a, a, a contest that's going on. People were supposed to guess when they're going to actually open up the flower was so it's going on right now people oh, have guessed sake. we've had a lot of guesses online okay and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to send a little bloom along with it so as we do our contest that we got a whole bunch of these little sure crop, crop blooms so they're well, going out when we do farm yeah. shows go to farm shows about okay. 15 of them across the country uh -huh. we always give little bloom samples awesome. out to the people and it's amazing to me how many times people have called back and said what is that? Uh, can you get me some more really? of that? Yeah, they really so like that. So if people were to use this and they won this, how much should they put into a container to do like two plants like I have here? Like just a little teeny well, amount? That much. And then, that much. And then, yeah. that, and then some water, and like then, about a couple right. of quarts of water. But you don't want a whole lot. This oh, this no, this will last somebody a 20. good season, right? Yeah, I mean, well, what are we doing with it? Are we doing the yard or are we doing a plant? We're doing a plant. <laughs> yeah, you maybe need a... But it depends how crazy you are, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if most of the people who watch me are pretty crazy. Well, they maybe so need a quarter. Maybe so. a little more yeah. than this. But this will get them a good start. You know, you That's do a little bit of this every... a very nice material to begin okay. the plant, the this seed is... with when you begin it. Oh, this is good for yeah. 864 is what it says yeah. on there, so... Yeah, well, it's, right. it's some nutrition, it's fertilizer, okay. but it's also got some biostimulant materials in it. It's good stuff, and it's called Bloom, which is a good name, uh, you know. Awesome. It Our, makes it Bloom. Okay, we're going to put you on the spot. What is going to be the final weight of the biggest pumpkin oh, this sure. year? Uh huh. The biggest or your biggest? My biggest, which will be the biggest Well, <laughs> in the world. I think you should be. 
the, the figure 2550 just the 2550 whoa all right you heard it <laughs> i don't know praise god praise god we heard it that's it that's a wrap so there you go 2550 2550 quite an increase over where you're at but you're doing a lot of in more important things we're doing a lot now we don't want to blow it up we're not going to blow it up okay all right all right so that's a wrap <laughs> Look for this for the next person who wins their seat to be in your little container. Okay. <laughs> See you Praise guys. God. <laughs> Praise God. Okay.